All right, let's bring in Jeff in here. And uh, boy, Oof, that, uh, smoke. that smoke is terrible mm -hmm. outside. I mean, we can see it all around us. And, uh, you know, in the East Bay, it's really, really heavy. It's thick. Yeah. You can feel it. Unhealthy. You can mm -hmm. smell it. Hard to be outside, really, for an extended period of time. So tonight's another night to limit your outdoor exposure, especially, as Jessica mentioned, in the East Bay. That goes for the North Bay as well. Look at this view over the San Francisco Bay. And we have a little bit of fog mixing in with some of that poor air quality. But this is not the San Francisco Bay. Uh, we know and love at least this view. It's just drastically different from all that smoke, of course, filtering across. Now, the North Bay unhealthy for sensitive groups. The coast in the Bay is moderate, but for the East Bay and the South Bay, you're also unhealthy for sensitive groups. So that basically means if you have asthma, any kind of respiratory problems, uh, you definitely need to limit your outdoor exposure. And really, I'd say it all. If, if you can notice it, you can smell it. Uh, just head inside, do something inside this evening. It's just not worth it. OK. Smoke forecast as we move through tonight, also into tomorrow. It does not change at all. North Bay and East Bay, we're looking at a lot of this orange and red colors. You can see on the key uh, that is that unhealthy smoke, but there is some changes I'm still looking at once we roll into this weekend. So let's go ahead and move it into my weather maps. And I wanted to show you what I'm tracking on Saturday. Looks like this could be good enough to stir up the atmosphere enough as that system right there drops down across Idaho. Now it's going to pick up a little bit of wind in the mountains, but I think as that system starts to exit on Saturday, this could help to push some smoke off towards the east. So let's bring it back to the smoke model. We talked about how things are going to look for us tomorrow. There you can see it right there. But then from that system on Saturday, I'm going to go ahead and advance this and you'll see how some of that worst smoke starts to push right off towards the east. So that is a better scenario for us. We're still left with this blue color here, which is some haze. But I think overall our air quality would definitely improve on Saturday and likely on Sunday at this point based on that current fire behavior. We're going to have updates as we continue each and every day, of course. So let's go ahead and bring it into tomorrow morning. Your kids are back at school. You're back to work. Temperatures will begin in the upper 50s here for the South Bay Peninsula in the Tri Valley, San Francisco. I have you with a little bit of fog tomorrow morning and that smoke mixing in and 56. Now daytime highs also staying comfortable. So if you can get over the smoke and handle it with your allergies or any of those other side effects, we have mid 80s through Concord and Livermore, 70s closer to the Bay, Palo Alto at 76 and then 60s right here at the coast. On my seven day forecast, once again, some improvements on Saturday and Sunday and we'll hold with 60s for daytime highs in SF and let's bring it over to the inland valleys and you'll be happy to see we'll continue with 80s, mid 80s all the way through Monday. And then by next Wednesday and Thursday, we do have some low 90s coming back in. It is it's just really, really bad out there. I noticed it in my eyes today, just mm -hmm. kind of irritated, a little bit red. Yeah, so. All right, thank you, Jeff.